Hello, my name is Daniela Del Giorno. I'm a performing arts teaching artist and creative aging trainer for Lifetime Arts. In this lesson, we'll discuss ways in which to plan and communicate with your teaching artists to deliver a successful creative aging program. Communication between the teaching artist and hiring organization is key to a successful creative aging program. Programs are more successful when there are clear and consistent lines of communication between parties from the planning stage through to the culminating event. It's a good idea to set a weekly check-in between the artist and the organization to problem solve and address unforeseen questions or issues. After contracting a teaching artist, invite them to tour the facility to review the space and programming needs with you. Be clear about protocols for accessing the space, including entry, keys, storage space, photocopying, time allowed in the space, and any other information the teaching artist will need to know. Address and delegate support tasks between the organization and teaching artist, such as who has responsibility for participant lists, surveys, supplies, emergency contact lists, attendance, and more. And finally, to keep communication open, identify at least one main contact person for the teaching artist who will be the person that the teaching artist can always communicate with if they need support or have questions. Then also provide a contact list of all related staff the artist may need to engage with and who can also be additional people to call if the main contact is unavailable. Identify the best times and ways to be contacted. Different art forms will require different space and setup considerations. For example, dance and movement programs need different space and room setup than an oil painting class. It's important that the hiring organization and teaching artist work together to consider and choose where the program will take place and how the space will be set up. Address questions before the program to create a smooth transition into the beginning of the program for everyone. Are appropriate chairs, tables, lighting, site-specific materials available for the class? How will the room be made accessible for the artist-specific discipline and the participant's safety? How much room is needed for walkers or wheelchairs? Will a microphone be available? Is the lighting adequate for working closely with artwork, etc.? Working with the artist, make decisions about supplies and any accessibility equipment that may need to be acquired and identify safe storage for supplies and works in progress. This is also the time to begin planning the culminating event together and make sure the date is on the calendar and that the space is reserved. In preparation for the programming, decide who in the organization will support various aspects of the programming. Identify who will create registration forms, register participants, greet them at the series kickoff, and document the program. The host organization will need to distribute, collect, and review post-program evaluation forms and share the feedback with the teaching artist. Identify who from the organization staff might be able to assist the teaching artist to integrate organizational materials in the classes, make changes to the furniture, or even attend the program to observe and or assist the teaching artist with the program. This may be the main contact person or it may be another staff person who is available. When the artist is hired and contracted, curriculum has been developed, lines of communication are open, and organizational support is in place, you are ready to begin advertising your program and signing up participants. Though we always hope that all goes without incident, you want to be prepared if there is an emergency. The main contact for the teaching artist should be the person the teaching artist can rely on for support during the entire program. Review all emergency protocols and share them with the teaching artist. The artist needs to know who to contact and how to contact them if there is a problem. If a teaching artist identifies a student that may need social service support, the teaching artist needs to share this information with the organization. It's not the responsibility of the teaching artist to seek out social service support. This is the responsibility of the host organization.